Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Ventus cards from Lotus in Hand. All right, so the Ventus playing cards, this is a beautiful cardistry deck printed out in Taiwan. Uh, the designer of this is Beliang Huang. And if you'd like to learn more about these cards, you can always visit lotusinhand.com. And the reason this deck was created was to design a deck of cards that resembles a vortex that looks kind of like it's spinning even when the cards aren't moving. If you look at the way the borders melt into the back design, it kind of creates an illusion that I think will enhance even the most simplest of movements. You have that beautiful semi-borderless back design and the colored stripes on the faces. They're also designed to produce a variety of stunning imagery that will come out in your spreads, fans, and flourishes. The Tuck is an elegant box. It's all done in matte finished and it's embossed with silver foil. It says Ventus across the top and you have these arcs of white and silver that begin on the front and then wrap all the way around to the back. The left side says Ventus and the bottom has some ad copy about Lotus in hand. The top of the tuck box says think outside the box and there is no tuck seal, which I like. And the inside tuck flap says with what's inside the box. So if you read them together, it says think outside the box with what's inside the box. That is pretty much it for the tech case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards were printed in Taiwan. And uh, just so you know, when I measure cards and when I uh, feel cards, uh, Taiwan cards are really good. Uh, Legend uses a Taiwan printer and uh, Expert uses a Taiwan printer. Uh, so Taiwan cards are good. A lot of people like them. Just know that they're always gonna be a little bit more stiff and a little bit more thick. So some people do prefer thick cards, especially after they're broken in, and uh, they definitely will last longer. So just know that going in, Taiwan cards, usually thicker, stiffer. There's that beautiful back design I was talking about earlier. Uh, it's kind of bordered in the upper left corner, but then the upper right corner, it's a solid back design. So it really does create a beautiful image. And you can just imagine holding that center circle and doing a pirouette, uh, it would look really cool. Also, because this is a Taiwan printer, you only get two extra cards. Uh, normally in uh, bicycle decks, you get four extra cards, two jokers, two extras. But with Taiwan-based cards, there's only two extra cards. So typically, they are only the jokers. So you get two jokers with this. They're both a little different. One is more the circle pattern that you see on the back of the cards, and the other one is the Lotus symbol for the manufacturer, obviously, Lotus in hand. And there's that catchphrase again that you saw on the outside of the tuck case. Your Ace of Spades has a spade pip that's comprised of blue lines. And then you have that circle design there in the center. It does say Lotus in hand, Ventus underneath that. With all the pips and indices, you're gonna see the same thing, mostly a field of white, but then you're gonna have four little splashes of line color uh, in the lower left, upper right, and then on the sides that's going to make beautiful cigar bands and then accent your fans depending on which way you go left to right or right to left but for the most part your pips and indice cards will look standard uh, the black cards are really that navy blue and the red cards are a beautiful silver your core cards are somewhat standard however most of the detail has been stripped away and you see these solid blocks of color uh, mostly it's just the navy color that's standing out. And then there's some tiny accents of silver for the black cards, but then for the red cards, uh, the quartz are entirely silver with no extra color. Well, that's pretty much everything I can say about what the cards look like. You also wanna know how they're gonna feel if you buy them. The best thing I can do is I can stick 10 of these in the caliper and then measure them, compare them against other decks in my collection. So 10 of these in the caliper come to 2.87. 2.87 is really a very common measurement. A lot of my decks measure 2.87. So I would feel like this deck would feel very comfortable, very familiar in your hands. Gold revolvers are 2.87, black lions are 2.87. 
The Keep Moon deck, also printed in Taiwan, uh, is gonna feel exactly the same. Uh, the Jupiter cards from Vanda, uh, the purple LTDs from Illusionist, the Black Scorpion deck. Uh, the Never Forgotten Project is another deck that was made in Taiwan, I think would feel exactly the same, yeah. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say. I purchased my deck from Art of Play. So if you're in America, definitely visit artofplay.com. You can find the deck there. Uh, I would say if you don't live in America, you wanna visit lotusinhand.com. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.